course. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna do something a little bit different, I had a few requests, um, and a few interested people. I put it out there and asked, you know, if you'd wanna see some of my Hot Toys reviews. I don't have a big collection of them, but I do have uh, half a dozen, which I'd love to share. So I wanna start dropping these every now and then. Um, but we're kicking off this one with Han Solo from The Force Awakens. Uh, I picked this one up probably about a year ago, uh, maybe less, maybe a little bit less, but um, yeah, really, really love this figure. So I decided I'd kick off with this one, take a look at all these accessories. I've never done a Hot Toys review, so I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> um, and stick around for the end, because I'm gonna compare it to a couple of other versions of this Han Solo, and uh, you know, from Hasbro and Bandai. So we'll take a look, and we'll jump on over to the uh, review table, and we'll take a look at Han Solo. All right, so here is the figure on the left next to the artwork inlay of the box. And now there's some cool different display options here for Han. Uh, there is a Chewbacca back there. Um, and I just, I think that's one that the Hot Toys have really struggled to get right is Chewbacca. He looks like the love child of um, Alf and Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> it's not great, but um, you know, hopefully one day they, they get a good looking Chewy. Um, yeah, that one just doesn't quite look that great to me. That's just my opinion. But we're here for Han, from his appearance in The Force Awakens and, by extension, The Rise of Skywalker now as well. So, great likeness, really, really love this figure, it's fantastic. Comes with some cool accessories which I will go over in just a moment. The blaster there is just absolutely amazing. I just love the head sculpts on these. 360 so you can get a look at the, uh, all the, all the beautiful details. You've got that sort of five o'clock shadow coming through on the, on the face. Check it out. Beautifully sculpted. Don't mind the blaster. <laughs> Turning around. Get a look at his outfit. So we'll look at his jacket here. Now these sort of code cylinders, you, you get them individually packed. Um, there is another packet of them here. Um, so you actually have to remove them from the packet. These are for his other coat, which I'll go over shortly. Um, so you have to actually put them in yourself. They are removable, which is great. The jacket's nice. It's a new jacket. <laughs> right, so I'm going to lift him off the stand for the pants. We'll get a look at his belt. Very much his trademark belt. Now all these bits and pieces I assume are removable. I've never actually tried. Um, in all the little pouches and buckles and stuff. But uh, yeah, beautiful attention to detail. I love his belt buckle. All these bits and pieces around the belt. They look great. Bit of Han Solo bottom for you. I know I'm not complaining. <laughs> Leather holster looks great. All that's sort of strapped around the leg. Pants look good. Nice boots. They look nice. And uh, of course it does come with the stand. A pretty, pretty generic sort of Resistance Rebel Alliance logo. Han Solo. It sits on there nicely. But uh, I kind of want to pay more attention to the figure itself as opposed to... You know, the stand and the box and everything. So. This is what else he comes with. He comes with his Star Killer base snow jacket and scarf. And these buckles, a few extra little snap buttons in there, but they actually work. There is the scarf. He also has wrapped around. It comes with a change of hands. Just clear. Just relaxed, relaxed hands. Because this one obviously holding a trigger finger. And this one just having that sort of relaxed look to it as well. Once you've got the jacket, you get four other choices of hands. So you get two sort of relaxed gloved hands. They've got sort of peg holes in them. I know the light is only just shining in there, but uh, they're nicely detailed. Nice sort of the wrinkles are nicely molded in there. The gloves are sort of just pulled up. They look good. They look absolutely fantastic. The weathering and the detail on them is great. The molds are fantastic. And then two other gloves being this sort of 
cupped hand. Again, great detail on these gloves. They look great. great. And then the uh, trigger finger. So you can certainly mix up this look for Han. And uh, I'm going to do it off camera. I'm going to try and put the jacket on him, switch the hands out, and we'll take a look. All right, here we have it. This is looking fantastic. This is actually the first time I've actually put this coat on and uh, done this done this look for Han, and I'm actually digging it. I might actually keep it like this for a little while on display. Um, fantastic. I did want to show the uh, DL44 blaster up close as well because it's got some fantastic details on it. It's really good. It's got the perfect amount of sort of weathering and all the dirt in the cracks. Looks great. So it looks like he's been carrying it around for quite a few years. He obviously got a new one at some point. It looks great. Love the details on that. It's almost sort of a different sort of coat to the uh, to the flash nozzle there. The what do you call it? The emitter blaster thing bit at the end the barrel I guess but yeah it looks really good it does fit in the holster nicely as well as I will try to demonstrate here again that could do with just a little bit of bit of warm steam or something just to sort of loosen up that but it's fine it wor it works yeah again that's something I haven't done yet so um, there is a little magnet where that little snap sort of clip shut there get that back in his hands <laughs> hands hands but yeah I really like this look he looks absolutely fantastic so I call it the uh, the really I'm really your cold look <laughs> yeah I'm gonna keep him on display like this for a little while because it's uh that's really cool. I dig that a lot. I'm actually going to get these little code cylinders out and uh, put them in the jacket too. All right, there we go. Just wanted to complete that little ensemble there with those added bits in the uh, in the on the chest there. But yeah, this uh, the jacket's really really nice. It's really nice material. It looks fantastic. Got all the right sort of stitching in the right places. Looks nice all the way down. Nice little bit of uh, sort of fabric up here around the collar. The scarf is sort of an individual, just a wrap piece you wrap around his neck afterwards and you can sort of just tuck it in and fold it how you want to look right. Um, I think that looks okay. And the hood of course does come up. So you could uh, have him revisiting Hoth or, you know, trying to keep out the weather a little bit. But yeah, it looks fantastic. I love this figure a lot. Glad I grabbed him. I really just want to get the uh, old layer. So I do have a few hot toys. I'm looking forward to reviewing them as well. And yeah, stay tuned because um, in a second I'm going to jump in and have a look at some other versions of Han Solo that we've seen in different lines. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. And hit the notification bell so you get all the videos straight to your inbox as soon as they go live. And that would be uh, greatly appreciated if you could do all those things. All those three little clicks, that'll be absolutely amazing. Uh, thanks guys. Like I said, stick around because I'm going to take a look at some of the other figures of this Han Solo um, version that we've uh, we've seen in other lines so thanks guys may the force be with you all right thanks for sticking around folks we've got a couple of extra figures here what this I'll just give a quick look at these we have from the force awakens line we have this Han Solo here um, definitely worthy of an upgrade to the vintage collection I think super articulated um, this version behind him here is super articulated that was released in the black series in 2015 in the three and three quarter inch line and uh yeah that one's yeah why they didn't give us a super articulated version of this Han first is absolutely beyond me but uh you know the sculpt on the heads there could definitely benefit from that uh photo reel paint apps as well um but yeah it, it looks okay on the shelf but i think han solo deserves a good vintage collection release um, for, on a Force Awakens vintage card, 100%. So this one was probably more likely to get repacked into the vintage collection. Um, and I actually did modify this one because the head sculpt that came on this one 
was nowhere near as good as this one so I did a swap I had to swap the full neck um, and you know it's still not really great but it's a it's a cool figure I just wish they'd done his regular outfit first but uh, it's a good looking Han Solo I do need to tweak the neck a little bit again and I will get to that at some point um, but yeah super articulated again Another figure that would look great on a vintage card, but please Hasbro, give us the uh, standard outfit first. Uh, yeah, this one's not a bad one. Then we're going to take a look at Black Series. Now this one would absolutely benefit from an archive release with some photo real paint deco. He was meant to get a re-release. At one point, Hasbro said they were going to put him out with his more accurate sort of grey hair because he's it's still quite brown. Um, a lot of people did their fixes. Um, so I'm not sure why they never ended up re-releasing him, but they didn't. Um, so hopefully this one gets a bit of a uh, photo real re-release. I think Leia from The Force Awakens would be a great one to uh, re-release as well with the sort of photo real update. I think the bodies are fine. The jacket probably needs a little bit of paint matching to go with the rest. This sort of funny brown weathering there that doesn't really follow through on there and vice versa. A little bit of weathering on the back, but again, not a bad figure. Just could use that sort of photo reel update now. Now this is probably one of my favourites. It's the SH Figure Arts Han Solo, probably one of the best Han Solo figures released, period. Um, this is an absolute, absolute beauty favourite of mine. I absolutely adore this figure so much. This is uh, almost as good as the Hot Toys that I just reviewed but uh, yeah he is just absolutely outstanding the head sculpt that's that's freaking Harrison Ford man seriously look at it that is fantastic he's got the grey hair he's got that sort of grouchy old grouchy old Han look <laughs> and the posability is fantastic jacket looks great you know, nice solid color all the way through I did actually glue the jacket to his shirt so it's um you know it hugs the figure it was a little bit loose um, but this time it, it sort of holds nicely to the figure and uh, doesn't mess with any of the articulation because I only did it to the top there and over the shoulders so yeah another group of fantastic figures um, yeah worthy of a couple of extra re-releases for specifically Hasbro's versions and some updates but uh yeah thanks for sticking around for taking a look at these as well i hope you've enjoyed this video i'll be doing some more hot toys reviews um coming out periodically i don't have that many so i'm going to try and space them out but uh yeah i hope you stay tuned i hope you enjoyed it thanks very much for watching till next time may the force be with you always